Okay, so here's a VG30. This is a 95 VG30 out of a... Um, this one right here is actually out of this truck. It's out of a two-wheel drive D21. Okay, and now it's a factory re rebuilt engine, so I think that's why it has the bigger crank. It has the 32 millimeter big snout, which is odd. That engine was never sold in this country, USA. It was only sold in Canada in 96, but it has the big crank, just like the VG33s do. But, um, so it has an oil pump with the big crank. You'll see that the little pickup tube comes out on this side. Let's just say the driver's side, the left side, right? It comes out on the left side and he's upside down, but this is the left side of the vehicle. The U.S. driver's side. It comes out and it jogs over and it goes down. Now this pickup tube is actually from a tool drive D21 Pathfinder. Um, now there's a four-wheel drive version. I think it's the same as the four-wheel drive version because basically all Pathfinders, the WD21 Pathfinders use four-wheel drive D21 parts. Um, there are some exceptions, but um, there's some weird differences because I basically put a 95 path the engine temporarily into this truck and tranny while I'm rebuilding the originals. And there's some weird differences, but uh, for the most part, most Pathfinders use four wheel drive parts if they're two wheel drive. But two wheel drive trucks, totally different. So the two wheel drive one is basically the same, but it's shorter, I think. It's in the truck right now, so I can't see it. But you can see the important thing here is this jog. This is what a VG30 oil pickup tube looks like, okay? And then on the VG33, it goes straight. And I've never seen a two-wheel drive VG33 Frontier Xterra, but that, it probably goes to here. And that's what I need if they make such a thing. So, and I don't think I could find one. I don't think they made one. Um, a VG two-wheel drive. Actually, they did make a Desert Runner. So I'll have to check that. But you see, the, what I want to do is, I think what I did on the last one, I did the VG33 upgrade, is I picked up a... A pump now if I put on a VG33 oil pump of course it's big so it fits on the crank but you can see the problem here is the pickup tube it's on the wrong side of the engine it's on the right side instead of the left side so that's why I used the Frontier pickup tube from a four-wheel drive but now I'm doing the same trick on a two-wheel drive so I need a two-wheel drive BG33 pickup tube because the Quest and the R50 they all have a different tube they have a little short thing or something and I need the pickup way back here not up here so I was I can modify this one you know cut off the jog and straighten it somehow I don't know if I want to do that um, anyways hope that explains here's a picture of the last time I did this you can see it on the internet Basically, it's a nice straight pipe, and it tells you right here what everything was. It's a basically a four-wheel drive D20 oil pan, a Quest block. They're all the blocks are the same. A four-wheel drive D21 tube, a Quest pump. I used an early first-generation Quest because they were the only ones that had the um, they have the oil filter on the outside of the engine. They all the Quest do. But the reason I used the early Quest is because I had the small crank, the 25 millimeter crank. So now I've got the big crank, so I don't need that anymore. And then I used the D21 filler mount. You can also use the Quest mount from any of the Quests. They both fit. Uh, I did buy both. And then I used, I just used the 25 millimeter crank because that's what I had in that. That was a 94 Pathfinder VG30 uh, block that donated its crank. and. But, uh, cams, the rest of it is pretty much VG33 parts. Um, so basically, hope that clears it up. So the goal here was to put an oil filter on the front of the engine instead of on the side of the block. So you can buy the little plate to bolt on here. I think it's $6 at the dealer. I'll just get one from the junkyard. Every VG33 pretty much has a blank plate that plugs up this filter. 
And then out the dirt guard, I'll just pick one from an exterior quest. You never find a uh, frontier, so I'll just get one from an exterior or a quest that bolts on here. So you can use either one, they both fit. And you can have your filter go straight down on the quest or on a diagonal on the exterior or frontier. I did that on the 92 path here with a solid exo swap and it cleared all the steering and everything. And it just made all changes as easy as they are on newer cars. All the newer Nissans, the oil filters are on the front of the blocks. Like all the BQs and my VK and my mod and everything. My stupid Ultima here, the KA, is still on the back like this. But, um, anyways, uh, Let's see another side-by-side -side shot here. These are the two styles of pumps. So this is from a 94 with a large. It should have technically had the small pinion, but basically all the VG30 pumps look like this, except for the Z stuff. I don't know how the Z stuff works, but all the trucks, pathfinders, wagons, whatever, they all have the filler pickup tube on the right side. And all the VG33s have it on the left side. And you can see these two are both the same because they're both in the large crank. But the big difference is the oil filter goes on the front of the engine, which is the ideal place on a truck or Pathfinder or exterior or whatever. Just easy to get to. You can see the covers change and stuff. So you have to do some modification there because the oil, the timing covers, they're all different. I've documented there's so many different kinds of timing covers but you can make them work